Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Rhino. In this video, I'm gonna answer the question, which motor is for you? We have two different motor options on the new ARC2 system. One is the high torque motor, which I currently have on this system, and one is the high speed. Both of them look the same from the outside, but there's a sticker on the bottom with the serial number and also the model number so you can tell which is which. So what I'm gonna do in this video is I have a shot set up looking at one of my, my colored RGB lights over here that's adding some fill. And I'm gonna run it with the max speed on a high torque motor first so that you can see what the shot looks like and what it looks like from the camera. That max speed is right around one inch per second. And then I'll do the same exact shot with the high speed motor so that you can see which one's gonna work best for your workflow. All right, my move is at start. Let's start recording on the red see what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna swap the motor out for the high speed and you can see the speed difference. All right, I have the high speed motor on now and my move set up. One thing to note is that when you switch motors, you wanna do it when ARC2 is off. You don't wanna hot swap them. Make sure when you go into settings, you want to change the motor from high torque to high speed, because that will adjust all of the internal code for ARC2 to run properly. Let's see what this move looks like with high speed. All right, so it's a lot faster. Now to answer the question, which one should I buy? It all depends on your workflow. I love how quickly you can set up a move with the high speed motor. The, the high torque is, is painful at some times because it only goes one inch per second. So really I'll, I'll answer the question this way. High torque I only use when I'm doing an incline or a vertical shot. That's not gonna be with the RED, that's gonna be with the DSLR or mirrorless camera. But when I'm shooting just a normal horizontal shot, I always use the high speed motor. It just makes setup so much faster, but you can't do inclines. So that's how I do it. In the Ultimate Bundle, you get both motors. They're both great motors depending on what your workflow is. If you have any questions at all about which motor you should buy or the ARC2 system in general, please watch our other videos or reach out to support at rhinocg.com.